Good morning everyone, today is New Year's Day 2017, January 1. Today I wanted to talk about electric vehicle adoption and what we can expect in the new year and in the years to come. You know, in December, we took possession or we took delivery of a 2016 Tesla Model S. And man, we love this car. So we take it out at every single opportunity we have. So let's talk about electric vehicles. So 2010, I wasn't even thinking about buying an electric vehicle because of these factors. Gasoline or internal combustion engine still is more compelling. But when 2015-2016 came about, things have changed. There were more plus factors to buying an electric vehicle, but the only thing was the purchase cost. Our Tesla Model S cost almost $100,000 which is not affordable to the majority of car buyers. However, in these next two years, 2017 and 2018, things will definitely change. The Chevy Bolt has rolled out and the Tesla Model 3 is going to roll out pretty soon. Hopefully, Tesla can keep its delivery date at the end of 2017, although I highly doubt it. What we know for sure is that with the purchase cost down, there is another compelling reason why anyone can purchase an electric car. However, the big question remains the refueling infrastructure. So think about it. Let's look at other places where electric vehicle adoption was faster and the EV is now mainstream. Let's take a look at the supercharger map for Europe. So you can see in Western Europe, especially France, Germany, Italy, the UK, and in Scandinavia, we have a pretty good supercharger density. Take note, this map is as of New Year's Day 2017. Now let's take a look at the United States. Currently, we have a very high supercharger density on the coast. So we have the West Coast in California, of course, that's the birthplace of Tesla. And there's a very good supercharger density. And on the East Coast too. And the highways connecting the East and West through the um, central states have plenty of superchargers also so it is possible to cross the continent. Now let's take a look at Eastern Canada or more specifically the Toronto, Montreal and Quebec City area. So right now we do have some superchargers. Um, what we need to know and what we have to be concerned about is where do most people go? So from Toronto to Montreal to Ottawa, yes, you're able to drive via supercharger. So that is a very good possibility. But let's take a look at the western side of Canada. So where we live, um, I live in the Calgary area. So it is possible to get to Edmonton and actually drive to Vancouver. However, lots of Albertans have business ties and family in Saskatchewan and Manitoba. And currently it is impossible to drive via the supercharger network because there isn't any superchargers. This is why we have to keep a second vehicle in our household instead of just having the Tesla. Our other vehicle is a Toyota Prius and for our Saskatchewan trips that is the vehicle that we will take for sure until they roll out a supercharger network that will make the travel more accessible. Even within the province of Alberta, it's impossible to get to Grand Prairie and Fort McMurray via the supercharger network because there isn't a supercharger there. And even the Calgary to Edmonton trip, without the superchargers in either city, it is very difficult to make that trip in one day because lots of Albertans drive in one day between Calgary and Edmonton. But let me share you some good news. So let me show you the supercharger map of the whole North America right now. Today we have this amount of superchargers so it's pretty good. It has improved through the years and you can see that in 2017, this is their projection at least, there will be even more superchargers. If you are considering to buy an electric vehicle and are worried about the refueling infrastructure, this will soon change things continuously improve so now you will see that this might just be the tipping point for more people to consider an electric vehicle as their next car purchase if you like this video please click the like button and subscribe to my channel i have more tesla videos up available thank you for watching